We are here and we are strong Let's be counted as we move on Make a difference, change lives As we tell our different stories We are capable, beautiful We are born to do great things We're unstoppable, incredible Cause we're differently abled Differently Hello there, I hope you're all having a fantastic time with us here on Able Differently. To be the best in a profession and you have a condition is not an easy task. Today, the individuals that we are going to focus on do whatever they do to represent persons with disabilities. Remember to send in your comments or suggestions through the number 20154 starting with the word channel 1. I'm your host Jane Theory and Caxton Osozie. Cause we're differently abled, differently. Patience Lucita is a professional photographer who's been strategic in a profession by benchmarking with other professional photographers with different conditions. We take a look at our story. Four months of professional photography has earned Patience Lucita a place on the high table of photography. She was brought up exposed to that and that is what helped her tone her skills in photography. So I used to work in Rwanda as I was able to work. So your organization is called the IRS International Rescue Committee. Your IRS is called the internet, Google, and the IRS is called the IRS. They are 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 called the IRS. Ukanifanyisha interview, nikawambia kila kitu kuniosu, vile vile fanya kandi ya nijipata huku Kenya, kasema kweri story yako, unafau saidiwe. So, walinipia training za one week, siri, nikazifanya, nikashinda, nafu kaniambu, nafu kuanza shuda, unapenta kukua nani. Kuambia mimi kwa maisha yangu, I want to be a journalist. Bakani uriza kwa anye na taa kuwa journalist, nika wambia ni kuwa journalist, nitaiza kusaidia wale mafu enzango. Heshima means dignity in Swahili. Most children with special needs in Kenya live a life that is full of broken dreams. It's actually not a school, it's a center where we do therapy, special education, we do medical intervention, and our kids are considered dignified here. That's what Hashima means in Swahili. We also employ all the mamas. So every child that's in our center, the mom also gets a job working at Hashima. They can be cooks, they can become cleaners, they can become teacher assistants. There's lots of opportunities for them. Because we really see that the child has a problem, but also the moms aren't treated very well. And so we want to give the whole family dignity at Hashima. Through her journey with disability, she had to follow the footsteps of those who have been there before, using them to benchmark on her skills at the capture photography. Kitu ya kwanzi likuwa kuona huo misilewa kwa news, amikuwa miss. Kuingana na maisha nyinirishi na ayo, nisema sasa ni kiteta, nienda nikia kwa baba, nitakuwa nani. Lazima, nifanye, nifanye. For example, nikuwa ya lichi kulikuwa watoto. Ndiyo sasa waone, hata maisha yinyi warireta ni pitia ndani, na kitu munga rechange kwa maisha yangu. So sita kani hende kuomba ndiyo niweza kufika mbari. Nataa kufika, nataa kufika mbari. Mbari sana. Kitu ya piri, nikianza iyo project ya I am able, nilisikia ndani ya roho yangu, I can, naeza, naeza, saidea wenzangu. Sometime nasema maybe naeza chukua boru nicheze basketball na mkono moja, nikifanya mara kwanza sasa. Naona ni ngumu. Mara pili ni ngumu, but mara ya tatu nasema lazima. So hiyo lazima ilileta nifike mahali ni kusahii. The 21-year-old lady was born in Congo, and it's during the upheaval that she became an orphan and maimed when her palm was chomped off by machete during war. So tukitoka, tukitoka nga uh, Congo, Of course, I'm going to be a mechanic, and I'm going to be a doctor. But I'm going to be a doctor. 
tutaweza kufika nafika kufika Rwanda uh, huo mama hakuwa na pesa ya kunipeleka hospital uh, so tulienda hospitali ya kawaida na nikashonerwa mtu wa kawaida hawa kufanya zile matibabu za mtu mwenye amekatwa mkono kabisa but after hapo so nikatwa the hand after hapo jose kupwa matibabu nikagonja kwa kansa so itabidi wa mama tafuta usaidizi nini kwa wenzake mabeto wake nikapere kwa wasi ndio ikakatwa sasa ikafikishwa mahali iko sahi like any other photographer with disability patients has had to overcome challenges primary primary uh, kwanza shule nianza shule kama mimi ni mkubwa kidogo ju nilifikishwa shule zingine zikwa kanikata huyo haweza kasoma na kuna mkono mmoja sasa taandika aje sasa taenda kufanya hizo training za wengine wanakimbia nini wanabeba nini huyu hataweza so itabidi nirudishwe home nikae kwa nyumba hawa watoto wananichekelea nasema wewe hauwezi kusoma na kuna uremavu watoto wako wananifurahia fasting kwa nasema wewe wako na uremavu hatutakaa na yeye au kwa mkono wake kanaweza tukula in spite of the challenges she still has the morale to wake up every day and go to Heshima Children's Center where she teaches photography to those able differently as a voluntary work so vile nilipata Heshima Kenya nilipata watoto wazuri na nikasema lazima uh, project yangu ianzie hapa Heshima Uh, Awa watoto na watoto wenye kuna talent different na uh, wanashika kinyo mwafunza wanashika sina uh, uwezo ya kukunua kamera and laptop nuwaoneshe live live but vyenye wako nazo kama uh, iPads tunatumia na uonesha mnafa kupiga picha hivi hii inaitwa portrait hii inaitwa extreme shot hii inaitwa full shot watoto wanashika haraka tulisema hii inaitwa picha picha ne ni ni shot hii nikifunza hao wenye kwa hii shule wanaweza meet na wengine waambie unajua anajua kupiga picha i can pick cameraman wewe unaweza naona so nilisema kila kitu kinaanza kwa watoto wadogo mtoto akijua na mtu mkubwa anaweza patience gives advice to those parents who lock their children in the house to try and take them to Heshima Children's Center and get some skills mari wako wote wanaweza fanya because if me naweza na niko na mkono mmoja kwa nini wewe usifanye sisi wote tunaweza na wazazi mari muko mko nao watoto kwa manyumba zao kuna shule kama Heshima Children's Center wanawasaidia for free mnakuja mnawasomesha wanasoma na wanapatana na patients kama mimi na tunawafunza kupiga picha na wanajua usikae kwa barabara uombe pesa ati mwenye saidia mwenye amekusaidia leo kesho atakupata hapo hata kupea kesho kutu ni hivyo au watu wote wanapoona wamechoka you can you can do it like me tunaweza fanya na tunaweza weka uh, dunia yetu a uh, beta press isikuwe ya watu beggars na kuomba God's word says that um, we are fearfully and wonderfully made in his image. And so his image is however somebody is made, whether somebody is blind or deaf or has one arm or can't walk, they're still made in the image of God. So I think for those people that are feeling like they're worthless, that they're not worth anything because of their disability, that's a lie. and we believe and god says they are fearfully and wonderfully made cuz we differently able differently let's take a short break and we'll be right back with more so don't go too far cuz we differently able differently cuz we differently able differently Welcome back if you've just joined us then you are watching Able Differently Motherhood is something that every woman in the world treasures however it comes with a fair share of challenges and as Margaret Atello a mother of four puts it you have to embrace challenges take a look The joy of motherhood is something that most women if not all can be able to express. The best part is when a mother decides to equally embrace all her children whether flawless or with conditions. 
Margaret Atello, a mother of four, tells of her unique tale. Uh, wakati nilizaa mtoto wangu wa kwanza ambapo anaitwa Brian nilimzaa tu vizuri na alikuwa mtoto mwenye haonekani ni kama anaweza kuwa na shida ilipofika mwaka ule wa mtoto kujifunza kuongea alikuwa anaongea kidogo 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 alipofika mwaka moja na nusu alikata polepole mimi si kuelewa niliona ni kama anataka kukuwa mtoto wa kunyamaza kumbe hapana sasa aliendelea kunyamaza mimi si kuwa nala kufanya, si kuelewa mambo na kwenda kwa kinyata kule hiantin. Tulika tu hivo, ni kizubiri mungu labda atamfungua siku moja onge. Sasa hai kweze kani. Sasa tulipo endelea kuendelea, nikaona mtoto amefika shule. Nikijaribu kumpeleka kwa shule hizi za chekechia hizi ndogo ndogo. Wananiambia mtoto haski mama brani. Brani haski haongei, hata ukimuita kwa nyuma hasemi, haongei kitu. Sasa mimi nilishindwa nitafanyaje? Kila mahali ukienda mwalimu anakuambia hapana, sitaki kuchukua pesa za bure na hizi pesa pia ni unazitafuta na shida. Aa, na pia vile nilimaliza mwaka moja na nusu ikiendelea tena nikarudi kupata huyu mwingine. Huyo mwingine alianza tu vile vile huyo alianza. Nikasikia moyo wangu umeshtuka nasema kwani wote hawatakuwa wa kuongea. The blessing of children with hearing impairment might have gone down well with Margaret and her husband. But her in-laws and neighbors reacted differently. Mana ilifika sapi ya jamii nao haitaki kusika pamoja na mimi mana niko na shida. Ikawa sasa hata ukijaribu kuita in-laws wako hawezi wakakuja. Wanaona ni kama unataka kuambia ingine gani. Sasa nilishi tu hivo peke yangu. Majirani, hao in-laws wamenitenga. Sasa zingine majirani watoto wakicheza nao hawataki. Wanaona ni kama watawafundisha vile venye hawataki watoto wao wahusike kukuwa na hawa wangu Even though challenges were inevitable for Margaret and her family she soldiered on to provide education to her children Niliwapeleka shule nyingine na hapo juu inaitwa na Kel Primary Wakasoma wakasoma kiasi walikuwa tu wanaenda wakiripeat wakiripeat maana hawezi songa hawana zile classes sikuwa na pesa pia sasa nilikuwa na, naenda shule na waelezea vile kuko. Walimu wakachukulia kukua ni kitu pia ngumu. Yenye, yani wanapo niangalia wanaona ni shida pia. Wacha tukubali tu vile hiko. Wakaniambia ukipata kidogo unaleta. Ukipata kidogo unaleta. Sasa siku, siku pewa nini ya banku ya kuingiza ndani ni wapeleke check. Wanyambia yako ni kidogo unaweza beba tu. Unatuletea. Na beba kwa mkono unatuletea. Sasa hivyo ndio ndikuwa nikifanya. Brana kakuja kamaliza class 8. For effective communication with the children, she took up small opportunities to learn easy sign language. Sasa vitu kama maji, tuseme mchele, chakula, enda sokoni, vitu kama ndogo ndogo basic things na heza nikaeleza kwao. Sipokuwa ndani tukingia deep ndiyo sielewi. At some point in life, when the firstborn son, Brian, and his sister could no longer handle the family struggles, they ran away from home. Thereafter, Brian came back, but the sister is still missing. Brian and Celestine wali poona, mana kuna Brian, first mwana lafu Celestine. Celestine wali poona na Brian, mambo imechacha, kumekua kubaya shida mingi, hakuna hii, hakuna hii, hakuna chakula, mara nini. Wakasema sasa sisi hatu takaa hapa. Wenye wanajisemesha. Hata hiyo siku nilishindwa kuenda church. Nilikaa tu kwa nyumba. Baba alienda lakini mimi sikuweza kuenda. Nilikaa kwa nyumba na nikaendelea tu kulala. Selesi na kakuja kaniuliza mamu. Uwendi church. We bado unalala. Church. Uwendi. Bado unalala. Are you sick? Ni kamambia mm -mm. siko mgonjwa. Akarudi tena kaniuliza. Siku hiyo kumbendi alipanga mguo pole pole na waka kadisa pia wakaenda. Celestine sijui mali alienda mpaka sahi sijaelewa. Na jaribu kupiga simu kuwasiliana nao kwa messages maana hao ni vile uwezi piga ni lazima utume message. Ninapo nilikuwa na mtumia message ya nanirudisha lakini sasa simu ilienda mteja ye yeah, hajuko. Sijui yako wapi. Nikiuliza Brian nasema hajui kwenye Celestine aliendea. Brian who has now completed his secondary education narrates of his ordeal after turning deaf. But the time nilikuwa mkubwa nika they reach the year of 10 11 years I came I became deaf. 
wa familia ilikwenda niuliza ni nini mbaya why don't you want to talk ni nini mbaya kwa nini utai kuongea but but family wenye iliona nimekuwa deaf ni nini mbaya sasa wakasema wakasema kuli but they accepted that ni mambo ya god he regards his family as a blessing in disguise and vows to work hard in life as margaret leaves parents with a word of advice kama unamjua mungu na ujue mungu ndiye anatengeneza ule mzuri na anaumba pia ule mwenye wanaita mbaya unajua ukizaa mtoto mwenye ako na kasoro anaita wale watoto wabaya lakini ukizaa mtoto mwenye wanaamini ana kila kitu wanaona huyo mtoto ako sawa mtoto ni mtoto maana kuna yule mama mwenye ameishi kukua tasa siku zote hana mtoto umezaa kama hawa for example niseme kama hawa wenye hawaongei hutasema tu utawachukulia for granted utaona kabisa nimezaa watoto kwa yule mwenye anaangalia na macho ya ndani ataona niko na jamii lakini yule mwingine mwenye anaona si mtoto ndiye anakwepa akienda kabisa na hawezi kukubali kukuja kushughulikia watoto wenye anaona ni kama hawana manufaa kwao Daniel's condition was detected months after his birth. His life has been characterized by a lot of challenges, but his mother hopes for better days. Take a look at this story. Daniel Muli was born able differently, but his mother realized it after six months. The mother to three other children shares her ordeal. Nilisawi mtoto wangu akiwa mlemafu na nilijua ulemafu yake akiwa na 6 months. Sasa baada ya kujua hivyo nilifuatilia hospitali. Nilienda nikaona daktari na daktari akanishauri huyu mtoto hakukua na kaa chini. Akaniwambia niende akanionyesha mazoezi yenye itakuwa namfanishia. Halafu akaniambia nisiwahi muweka akiwa peke yake ni mweke na watoto wengine wenye wanapika kelele ama na ni mweke kwa redio nikifue mweke lalisha pale niweke redio karibu ili hiyo kelele itamsaidia kufanya nini kuja kuongea challenges that came with disability hit her son hard and she was faced with a lot of criticism and opposition from her family wasasi walikuja wakaleta shida kwenye nilikuwa nime kwa baba yake sasa wakaniambia huko hawakangi na kiwete So naweza nikafanya nini? Nikaenda. Sasa vile mimi nilikauia kukaa hapo kwa sisiku sina wazazi mimi. Walikuja sasa wakateka divide ndio wakausa shamba. Sasa kuusa shamba ikabidi mimi nifanye nini? Niliende. Daniel who had enrolled in a boarding school had to be transferred to a nearby school for ease of access to medication. Wata huyu mtoto nishampeleka shule ya boarding. Huko nilikuja nikapata kasponza kadogo. Nikapeleka yeye huko boarding karatina lakini akakuja akakuwa kwa mkonjo beko yake moja ya kiume imeshikana na figo sasa ikakuwa hawezi kukaa kwa shule Daniel has to attend clinical checkups every month to manage his situation and when things get tough his mother resorts to loans for sustainability ameenda theater mara mbili yani hata wa leo nampelekanga clinic kila mwezi kila mwezi nampeleka clinic na clinic yake ni 3000 tuko kwa hizi mangroups sasa wengine wanaenda unakopa kama ni pesa sandao unaweza wenda unakopa 1500 unalipa kwa mwezi sasa tunaishi tu kwa shida sababu sasa utafanya aje na uwezi ukajiua Rose Kathule's blood pressure at some point hit the highest bar due to her son's medical condition but she never gave up hope She now crutches uvitambaz as a way of earning a living and is also in a chama for the persons with disabilities. Mimi nashonanga vitamba, nashonanga hizi beats, nashona vipeti, nashona kama hii kijana amefaa kwa mkono. Sasa hizo ndio ushona, lakini sasa hakuna kazi. Hasina kazi. Sasa ingine nawaacha naenda nafanya kibarua. Fenye nilifukuswa huko, haya sina wasasi wangu. Sina maandi, sina maango, babangu alikuwa amesaliwa peke yake. Unajua sasa hiyo kitu ingeniumiza sana. Hata hiyo wakati fresh ilinipata ndio. Lakini nilikuja nikaomba sana, na nikasema Mungu anisaidie kozi, aliona nafaa. Kozi si niko na watoto wengine na wako salama. Anaona ninafaa. 
The mother of four who lives one day at a time with God's masses pushes for acceptance for persons with disabilities and education for all. Kwa hivyo wale wasasi wamefungia watoto kwa hema nyumba sawa hata wengine na waelimishanga na wambianga watoe watoto. Hata nikibeba huyu kuna watu walikuwa wanilitusi sana. Nikikuja kwanza pale kwa stage wa hata mangari walikuwa wanakataa nikiingia kwa mangari. Nikinawauliza mpaka sasa wanamnataka mimi nifanye nini? Kitu ya kwanza sisi wasasi tufuata mawaidha ya daktari na tutafaulu. Mm -hmm. Usingatie chenye uko nacho ule tu huyo mtoto wako usimuone afai. Sababu kimuona afai mimi Mungu alikuwa akupatie mapato pia itakatika hautapata. Sasa nikwambi mtoto wangu wako na karibu 20. Anaenda 20, 19 years. Uwezi ukaamini sababu watu wenye uko na ndiki sasa hizi wanajitengemea lakini bado niko na ye. na namfundishanga kazi kama wale watoto wengine. Let's take a look at the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disability. Article 6 of the UN Convention states that state parties recognize that women and girls with disabilities are subject to multiple discrimination and in this regard shall take measures to ensure the full and equal enjoyment by them of all human rights and fundamental freedom. And that's how we come to the end of Able Differently. Remember that you can always send in your comments to the number 20154, starting with the word Channel 1. I'm your host, Jane Theory. And Caxton Mososia. Goodbye. Ralph Waldo says, It is not length of life, but depth of life. Let your will be done. Abled differently is mourning a young soul. Audrey Chibole Lizanda, who went to be with the Lord on Tuesday 27th of August. It was tough. Mm. It was very tough because, you know, you have to adjust from your old life. You used to see things and you have to come back to another life. You learn the new language of the blind called Braille. Mm -hmm. You have to learn how to use technology. Like and learn I, how to adjust. Yeah, it was hectic. Mm. Audrey, until her demise, was our presenter on Abled Differently. Audrey was ambitious, Audrey was hardworking, Audrey worked to see her dream come true. So the news of her demise has really shocked us. We as Able Differently have lost a very important member in our team. Her star had just started shining with her dream to be in the media industry being realized. My dream one day I'll just be one big journalist in this country or right. in the world. Right. Yeah, I want to tell people with visual impairment that you can also do this journalism thing because right. most of them think they can't. Right. Yeah, so that's what I want to do. Lonely way, lonely way, way do do la, lonely way, way do do la. The talented singer had a music warming up souls, evident in her many interviews. It's not easy, but the moment you accept that that's the situation you are in, and probably there's nothing you can do about it, mm. just accept yourself and from there you'll be able to do anything else. Sometimes I used to go at the back of the door of the class and sing my heart out when I cry. Then when I come out, I'm okay. I laugh with the others. So music has been so therapeutical in my life. My condition is visual impairment. So I can only detect light and not images and any other thing. I wasn't born like this. It started on the way. Despite her efforts and energy in making her dream come true, Cancer was slowly weakening her, and by the time she realized, it was too late. I, I learned of Audrey's condition in July. Learning of her death really shocked so many people, myself included, because that's less than one month of being in hospital. And not, in fact, not so many people knew that Audrey was in hospital. Very few people knew about it. So you can imagine somebody telling that Audrey is gone, Audrey is no more. When you've just seen her recently, we were with her here recording for able differently uh, and just telling other people that Audrey is not there was not was not an easy job. Audrey succumbed to the disease. No one really wants to say goodbye, so we will just wish her eternal rest. 
Siku andika barua ila siku waza ningetengwa mie yalivo songa majira ndo kwenye kawache kwa kwangu chozi mie ikawa ndo eti usiku silali kumlili ya jalali Shahia atambua nyuku kuzi wadidi ya maumile ikawa ndo eti usiku silali kumlili ya jalali japo wadipunguzie wanajifanya bacho ni mahali